Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Let's jump right in and do some work. Of course, today's topic is you are being blessed. You're being blessed. So get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. You ever heard that before? You ever get in your own way? You ever self-sabotage? You never do that, right? I know, me neither. <laughs> so the beginning of this talk today comes from one of the teachings from Abraham Hicks. If you're not familiar with Abraham Hicks, recommend you look into her uh, and her work. But the teaching is that, and I'll paraphrase or kind of put in my own words, but I'll, I'll use some of her words as well, but the universe at all times is blessing us. It loves us. It wants us to be happy, fulfilled, healthy, wealthy, all these things. In other words, in their words, there is a never ending and constant stream of well being coming down upon us all the time. And you say, you may be in a situation where you're like, that's a bunch of BS. Oh my gosh, my life is like, terrible right now or I'm in the worst circumstances or situations in my life. There's no way that can be true. But the reality is there is an infinite stream of abundance and well-being coming down and raining upon each one of our lives, each one of our souls here on planet earth at every moment. If you're not experiencing this, it's because you're blocking it because you're in your own way. And the way you can think about it as far as an analogy goes is there's this wonderful, beautiful, think of like a this crazy intense rainstorm, but it's like a peaceful one. It's just raining very heavily, but the rain is your abundance. The rain is what's coming down on you, showering you at all moments uh, in a very rich, loving, amazing way. But what we do as people, as human beings, is we put up an umbrella and we block ourselves. So there's all these opportunities, there's new relationships, there's opportunities for uh, adventures, for, for businesses, for partnerships, for uh, you know romantic encounters, all these things. And it's coming down on us at all times. What we do is we get an umbrella and we put it up over our heads so that we're blocking ourselves. So why do we do this? Why do we block ourselves? You ever ask that? Why do we block ourselves from the good stuff that's coming into our lives? Why do we make these silly mistakes when things are going well or you know make excuses or start making up stories well at least from my experience it starts when we're young of course it comes from the programming that's put into us from a very young age all these things that we experience that tell us from society our parents teachers whatever that we're not worthy of love uh we don't we're not deserving of being wealthy and happy uh, maybe you have a family that's not very healthy, everyone's overweight, and so they're like, oh, that's just not us, that's too hard for us, we're not doing that, and so you inherited that, and you've always struggled with your health because the rest of your family is uh, overweight, right? These are just examples, but where does this come from? It comes from our upbringing, our experiences, reinforce these beliefs that we have from a young age, and unless we repair and uncover and be reprogram these beliefs, we tend to recreate these same circumstances to enforce our bad beliefs, our false beliefs. And that, our belief system, is what is blocking us from receiving our own well-being and abundance that's being rained and showered upon us. So we'll also talk about kind of how to get over that a little bit. So you're being blessed. Get out of your own way. There's an infinite stream of well-being constantly showering us. What we do as human beings is we put up an umbrella. So you can tell if you're in alignment with what it is you want, with this stream of well-being, with these opportunities for wealth and business and health and friendships and lovers or whatever, you can tell. And this is also the teaching from Abraham Hicks. We all have a very, very simple but an incredibly accurate guidance system that is, it's just binary, it's one and zero, it's black and white, you're either in the flow and attracting and creating and moving towards what you want or you're repelling it and you're blocking it and there's one very simple way to tell which side you're on. If you're getting closer to, the, closer to your manifestation or far away, farther away, if it's getting closer to you or not, that system it's so deceptively simple 
that you may sit there and go, God, there's no way. Your ego will think that it, there's no way it can be that simple because our ego likes to complicate things, right? So the guidance system is simply how you feel. If you're doing something and you makes you feel good, you feel good in your heart. It feels good in your body. You're enjoying it. You're present. You're not thinking about the time. You're not all stressed out. You are enjoying it. You are moving closer towards your manifestation. It is moving closer towards you. You are in alignment with what it is you want to create that will allow all these amazing opportunities and people and money and things to come in your life. This is when your umbrella is down. You're in alignment with the stream of abundance. This is when all the synchronicities happen. You're moving closer and closer. These amazing things are coming into your life. It's based on how you feel. If you're feeling bad due to a circumstance, a conversation, a relationship, etc., whatever, you're moving farther away. You're pushing it away. You're moving farther away. Now, this serves a purpose also, though, when you're experiencing this negative feeling and moving farther away. There's a couple of things here that it is being used for. One, I've said this many times and I'll say it many times again. As a matter of fact, after this, I'm gonna go home and really meditate and do some more writing because I have a lot to think about uh, about what's coming up in my life right now. The challenging situations, the less than desirable situations are here to teach you one, lessons, lessons from the situation that you may need to learn in order to grow into and allow yourself to receive that which you're asking for. That's number one. The second thing that it's doing is, and this is also the Abraham Hicks teaching, it's showing you contrast. So contrast is what? Opposites, black and white right and left, right? There's a contrast. There's a difference. It's showing you the difference. So in other words, by you experiencing what you do not want, this crappy relationship, this crappy job, being broke, etc., whatever it is, it's clearly showing you what you do want. It's clearly showing you what you do want. It's a redirection. It's a guidance system. I feel bad about this. I don't want this. It's there to teach you lessons and point you towards what you do want. I don't like being broke. I want to be wealthy. Okay, great. So what do we do? We start, I got my sister FaceTiming me. I'll call her right back. Um, so what we do is we need to learn the lesson, understand the contrast and shift. So what do I mean by shift? If you're feeling bad about a situation or an experience, it is because of your thoughts and literally all you have to do is shift what you're thinking about. So if all you can, if all you're doing, if you had an argument with a coworker or your lover or a friend or something, and you're so bothered by it all day and you feel like crap because you're just dwelling, your thoughts, your mind is dwelling on this argument, this crap, all you have to do, it is literally this simple, is think about something that you enjoy. Going on a hike with your dog. Uh... You know, the dinner you have to look forward to with your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, going on the vacation you have coming up in a few weeks. Think of something positive. Be mindful and shift your energy so that you feel good by focusing on something that you want and allow that well-being and abundance to come into your life. And that's literally how you do it. I don't think it's an emergency management. I, I know my sister and I, she's my best friend. We talk all the time. She's probably like, why the hell are you blocking me? Or uh, <laughs> rejecting me, but I'll, whatever. I'll tell her after. So it's for a reason. All we have to do is change our thoughts and focus on what we want. It puts us in alignment. Now there is an important part. This doesn't mean bypass and ignore. This doesn't mean whoop, go and get, <laughs> I got my little dog in here. We got a, we got a little a little wild uh, morning going on here. So, it doesn't mean you block the messages. It doesn't mean you deflect. Don't go and just like, you know, don't avoid it, in other words, or resist the lesson because it's gonna come up again and it's going to bite you in the butt. So you've got to learn the lesson and allow the energy to move through. You don't block it and just resist it and just switch it and avoid it because then you're burying it deeper confront it, understand it, learn the lesson, allow the energy to move through you, and then shift your energy. 
<laughs> my bad. I apologize today, guys. I got I took my little boy to the vet today, and um, we came to the coffee shop after. Got a little puppuccino, and he's just like going crazy doing his thing in the passenger seat here. You can probably even hear him. What's up, dude? We're almost done. So, anyways, shift. Learn the lessons. And get out of your own way to allow this beautiful stream of well-being and abundance to come into your life. That's what we're here for. That's what we're doing. So, when we experience what we don't want, it's to teach us lessons and show us what we do want by allowing us to experience contrast. It's inevitable that we'll experience pain. We don't have to suffer from it. It's a Buddhist teaching. But we will experience pain and less desirable circumstances, relationships, etc., in our lives. Part of allowing ourselves to receive what we want is understanding and healing your self-worth. The universe doesn't give you what you want, it gives you what you are. So even in your mind, you say, I want all this stuff, but if you have all this junk deep down in your heart, these negative beliefs that you're not unworthy, that you don't, you don't think you're worthy deep down, because you haven't healed a lot of that stuff well then you're not going to be able to attract a lot of that stuff in or most often which is what we do and this is what this video is about we block it we self-sabotage the woman in your dreams the man in your dreams comes in your life and you self-sabotage it you don't think you're worthy so you start doing weird stuff you wouldn't normally do in order to subconsciously self-sabotage it because deep down you don't think you're worth it so you've got to reprogram your beliefs and again this is where when you're experiencing these circumstances self-reflection self-awareness self-study comes in because when you know this and you can learn this stuff about yourself and work on it and reprogram it then when these blessings come in you're aware of when you self-sabotage it or you don't even do it because you've healed it that's how we do so our job is to get out of our own way. And by getting out of our own way, it's about shifting into a positive vibration by focusing on what we do want and taking care of ourselves, healing our understanding, becoming aware of our belief system and rewiring, reprogramming our belief system so that it supports that which we are and are becoming so that the well-being can come into our lives. It's very difficult to do if you've experienced trauma in your life or had a very difficult early life and you probably have because you're watching this and if you're watching this you're probably a healer and a star seed and we picked difficult early lives to forge us into people who can heal by healing our own circumstances and situations so if you've been in survival and being treated like crap and taken advantage of never acknowledged or loved the way you needed to especially you because you're super sensitive like me you're an empath you get it with energy you take things to heart and you were neglected or abused, whatever, you were in survival mode. You never got your needs met. You never got taken care of. So it, when you do heal it and this stuff starts to come into your life, it can be scary because it's new. It's different. It feels weird. It's foreign. My God, there's no way this girl likes me that much. There's this is weird. There's this is weird. There's no way that this guy is legit. There's some kind of red flag going on. Then you start snooping around. You're self-sabotaging. It's what we do. You've been in survival mode for so long, so we have to become aware of when we're in survival mode. Become aware of when we're in survival mode. How do we shift out of it? We just have to go through it, but we have to be aware of it first and then just allow ourselves to move through the un uncomfortable feeling, be being aware that this is what's going on. The, oh, okay, I got this raise. I didn't think I was worth it, so or I got this amazing job, so I'm self-sabotaging the awareness this is where the self-reflection, which I always talk about, is so important. Constantly reflecting on your daily, weekly lives, your everyday life, your, your everything that's happening, these events, how you're responding, what are these things? This is all what you're creating. It's your life. So whatever's in your life, are you reflecting? Are you taking time to think about it so you can pivot your approach, so you can allow yourself to get out of your own way and this beautiful stream of abundance to come into your life? You're in an era a new era of your life in which you're being blessed then you more than you ever have you've been working on yourself for so long and you know you're different because you don't like the same things you don't like the same people and situations uh, your interests have changed your diets change your body looks different your hairstyles maybe change you're way different and you're going to continue to change because you're evolving at a rapid pace right now 
and you're in a new area of your life where all your hard work about healing all this stuff, all the therapy, all the classes, all the books, all the everything that you've done, the yoga, the working out, these steps you've taken, it's now coming to the fore. All the internal energetic work you've done is now beginning to manifest itself on a physical level. So it's very important that we're aware at this time to allow us to, ourselves to receive the blessings that are coming in. Again, it's difficult if you've been in survival mode for a long time. So you're in a new era. Allow yourself to receive. You deserve it. You're worthy of it. You've worked for this. And it's what you, this is your divine birthright. It's, remember, it's just scary because you're not used to it. You've been in survival for so long. You've been mistreated for so long. So it's weird when someone actually has genuine, authentic kindness or treats you well, authentically. You're in a new vibration. So you're attracting new people. And these people are not like the old people that used to take advantage of you. It's all new. It's okay to be scared. It's natural because it's the unknown. It's a natural fear. It's a natural human response. But we transcend and move through this fear by becoming aware of this is what's happening. And just allowing ourselves to constantly receive over and over doing this repetition, repetition where receiving and being on the positive end and creating a new life becomes natural and that becomes our new normal. That's what we're doing. So you've worked for it and you've worked on yourself. You are being blessed beyond belief. So the quote I'll leave you with today, I already mentioned it when we were talking. The universe doesn't give you what you want. It gives you who you are. And would it be? And so that's the quote. But then when you begin to receive what you are, the new you from all the healing you've done, it can be scary. So just embrace the fear, become aware of what's going on, identify any self-sabotaging thoughts or behaviors or beliefs, reprogram that talk yourself out of it you know that you've been doing this and you deserve it so that's what i got for you today guys i love you so much and i'll see you on the next video peace